If you have an Xperia X10 and you're scrolling through Timescape and you love the way it looks and you'd love to have that be the first thing you see every time you bring your phone up, there's a way to do that. What you do is you're going to set Timescape as your home screen. You're going to press the home button and press menu and settings. From there you're going to go to applications and then manage applications. Usually it should be shown in uh, alphabetical order but if it's not you can press menu and then press A, A to Z sort. Once you've got it sorted by alphabetical you go down and you search for home let's see H oh, we passed it oh where was I A B C D E F G H okay you get home and you see this button that says clear default you're gonna press that button okay so next time you press home it'll ask you what do you want to do press use by default and then choose timescape now every time you open your phone or bring it back from the lock screen timescape is gonna be what comes up and here you see you have timescape as your home screen now and it's going to be available every time you bring your phone from the lock screen if you need to get to your apps you just press this little button right here slide the app drawer up and then that brings your app uh, what I like about this is you can rearrange apps so if you don't want to store them alphabetically let's say you use the Facebook app a lot and you want to bring that to the top just long press on it and bring it up and it moves there if you want to move something from into the top four apps that you're always going to see you long press to take something off and then you long press again to put something new there in, as a replacement uh, this is very very easy to do very easy to have and now you've got timescape you're not going to get any widgets or anything but you will get other stuff so now if you say you like this but you want to go back to having the regular home screen it's very easy just press menu settings and then uncheck as home so the next time you press home once again it'll ask you what do you want to do choose use by default press home you've got your classic uh, home screen where you can install widgets and things of that nature